Did you see this graphic and still have questions about how the new damage buckets work for Season 2? This video will simplify things for you. So this is the spreadsheet that will help visualize what's happening with the damage buckets. The blue bar up here is the main calculation that results in the final damage. You basically multiply these up all together and they calculate your final damage. The numbers below the blue bar are the stats that get added up together to make up the total for each bucket. And this structure is why crit and vuln were so good. You add 50 to crit damage, you break 300k. You add 50 to vulnerable damage, you break 300k. You add 50 to conditional, you don't break 300k. That's just the way it works. And this is why crit and vuln damage were the premium stats and a huge problem in Diablo 4. So when you hear about the multiplicative factor, we're talking about the combination of these buckets here. They're changing this structure by doing three things. The crit damage part of the calculation no longer comes from gear, but is a flat 50%. Also, the vuln damage part of the calculation no longer comes from gear, but is a flat 20%. And these two stats that do come from gear are now additive. So when they say that they're bringing crit damage and vuln in line with everything else, they mean it. The percentage gain with vulnerable damage is now equivalent to the gain with damage versus chilled or any other conditional. But that's not all. They're adding a new damage bucket that I phrase, yo dog, I heard you like choosing your stats so you can choose your stats while choosing your stats. Let me explain. Prior to Season of Blood, Crit and Vuln were premium stats that Blizzard served to you. You didn't choose Crit or Vuln to be the best for your class or build. And with Season 2, you can now choose which stats become premium via the Paragon board. So taking one of the nodes that the Blizzard showed in their livestream, you basically activate this nodes and it adds these numbers to the calculation. 3% for damage with Cold, Fire, and Lightning. And now these stats are premium because they now have a multiplicative effect. Another example is with ultimate skills. You activate the node and it adds these numbers to the calculation, turning damage with ultimate skills into a premium stat because now it's multiplicative. Now, even with all of this, it does lower damage across the board and they are tuning monsters to this new baseline. And to be honest, no one wanted Diablo 3 numbers anyways, so I count this as a win. I hope this explanation helps, and thanks for watching.